Wondersmith pin. If it'll focus. Can we see your Dear Evan Hansen shirt? Wonderful, wonderful. Yes.
Can you show my vlog the picture of Lee Bardugo? I took a picture with Lee Bardugo and she remembered me and she remembered that I'm writing something and she gave me a sign. It was good advice. Was I was listening. Advice. And I also took a picture with Tony and I have a lot of Amazing. And, really <laughs> and you got checked, please. And I got checked, please. So basically, just all the fangirl feels. <laughs> everyone I'm going to end this BEA vlog now I decided to do this vlog in the style that I did the week I was in Minneapolis kind of style so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but hopefully it did give you an idea of an overview of BEA because obviously I didn't show everything that I did BEA week is so busy and exhausting that I knew I wouldn't be able to vlog every single day but I did want to wrap it up and I wanted to give you guys some highlights of my week the first day, my favorite part was going to the novelty and then going to see Frozen with Jesse. Those were just wonderful things. It was so much fun. Everyone had so much energy. It was the first day, so most of the time we were just like hanging out and being together. And then we all went to the novelty, which was so much fun. My friend Elena threw it. I was really proud of her because it was really good. I haven't read Strange the Dreamer yet, but we got to hear Lainey Taylor talk about it and it 110% convinced me to read it like really soon. And then we also got the arc of the second book. So over the summer, I'm gonna read the first and second books of that. And then I think Jesse took more vlog footage of Frozen than I did. So if you wanna see some of that, then go check out his vlogs. But we went to see Frozen and it was really good. It's actually maybe one of my favorite Broadway shows I've seen. Like the way that they did Elsa's magic on the stage was just like so pretty and cool. And then it was also really, really funny. Jesse was like cracking up the whole time. Day two, my highlight was, gosh, I can hardly remember what I did day two. What did I do day two? You can probably tell how exhausted I am right now. Thursday, I think my highlight was just like exploring, walking the floor and the books that I got. I got B.E. Schwab's middle grade book and then I actually ran into V.E. Schwab and I didn't really introduce myself because I had hit like a real lull during the day like you know how in a big day you always have that moment where you're like I'm so tired I can't go on so I was in the middle of that moment when I met V.E. Schwab so I didn't say like hi I'm Emma Miss Emma reads a lot blah 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 but later she responded to my Instagram story of her arc and was like, oh, hi, I saw you earlier with Jesse. I can't believe you didn't introduce yourself. I love your account. And that was just like so sweet and cool because I didn't know she knew who I was. <laughs> so that maybe was the highlight of Thursday. I feel like Thursday was the most exhausting day. So I kind of don't remember a lot of it. So I bet there's a moment that I'm forgetting that was my favorite. Friday, I know absolutely what my favorite moments were. Friday was another of my favorite days of this week. I got this beautiful thing. It, obviously, it, this is not the finished cover because they don't have a cover yet, but this is Tahara Mafi's new arc, A Very Large Expanse of the Sea. It comes out on October 18th, so you can look for it then, but I'm so excited. We literally waited like two and a half hours in line for this. We were in line before there was even an official line because it wasn't just an arc drop, it was also a signing. 
So, I got to see Tahara Mafi again and she remembered me from the Restore Me event, so that was really, really cool. She was lovely, as always. She's always so nice and sweet. And then literally right after that, we went to Ransom Riggs signing and I got to get the sampler for the fourth Miss Peregrine's book signed. That was like a really exciting moment of the day because I met my favorite author again, Tahara Mafi, and then right after that met Ransom Riggs. So that was super fun. My other favorite moment of Friday were all the parties we went to. I went to the Fierce Reads and Big Honcho parties that they invite us booktubers to. I was gonna go to the Goodreads one too, but I actually skipped it because they were all back to back to back, like overlapping, so I wouldn't have been at Fierce Reads for very long before having to leave. Fierce Reads was really fun because it was in this loud like restaurant bar and Lee Bardugo was there. I got to meet her. I got to talk to some friends who I hadn't really gotten to see throughout the week, like Kristen from Super Space Chick, and I got to talk to Monica a bit, although I saw Monica throughout the week. I got to hear Lee Bardugo giving Hannah some writing advice, and I know that that doesn't have to do with me, like it wasn't my moment with Lee Bardugo, but it was definitely one of my favorite moments of the day just because I know how much it means to Hannah and also it was really good writing advice. At that party they gave out goodie bags and they gave us this. Some of you will know what this is but this is an arc of Check Please which is a web comic that is out you can read it online but they're publishing the physical copies I think it comes out in September and they gave us arcs of Check Please in full color I died Hannah died I'm so excited to read it because I really know I'm gonna love this story a lot of people say if you love the Foxhole Court then you will love this one but I really have a hard time reading comics and manga in digital form this is possibly the book that I will read first out of of all of these although this one it's possible I will start on the train ride home but yes that was super exciting and then from there we went to Big Honcho's party which was so great they had a photo booth that I'm sure you guys saw if you follow any of the booktubers on Instagram because we were literally all posting pictures of this photo booth they let us do it as many times as you want and then you can get like the digital gif it was basically a bookstagrammer's dream as Alexandra from twirling pages said so that was a lot of fun I went home exhausted that night but I really did have a lot of fun so those were the highlights of BEA week there were honestly so 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 many more but I like have done so much this week and had so many nice moments with my friends that I can't even think of them all. The all-time fave moment of this week has just been hanging out with everyone. We're all scattered all over the place. I haven't seen Brandon since like y'all fest. I haven't seen Hannah. I can't even remember when the last time I saw Hannah was and we got to talk and have some fun times together and then I got to hang out a lot with Alexandra from twirling pages. I love her. She's wonderful. I got to hang out with Elena and Monica a lot. I got to hang out with Ashley from Ashley Outpage, who I've never met in person before, even though we buddy read manga together. I got to meet Robbie from Robbie Reads, who is so, so nice and wonderful. I got to <laughs> navigate a bunch of us girls through the subway system to the big honcho party. Randomly really fun. Like Jenna and I had a conversation about Taylor Swift. <laughs> walking to the subway stations. Just so many little moments like that that I can't really capture, but that were so nice and so much fun. And I love my friends, guys. I love my friends. <laughs> so now it is time to go to sleep and I will see you in the morning with BookCon Vlogs. Yay! So tired, so happy, such friends, so good. Books, woo, good night.